I don't know what his character class is, but he's playing Lucio, he's a dude. Uh, he I is Silver right. himself, and it's in a gold skill writing game. He has for the blue or yellow, that's right, because he can't see red. Like, if I did this, and I was like, I was like, Bastion is a really nice guy. Right? He's a super nice guy. He, would, he wouldn't be able to see this because he can't make out red. Um, yeah. So we're going to go with blue. Hopefully he can see this. Yeah, I know. That was sweet of me. Bastion is a really nice guy. Just a super nice guy. Guy. Super really. Super really. Uh, he said also yellow's good. How does yellow? What do people like, yellow or blue? Does yellow show up nicely for everyone? Does blue show up nicer? Yellow, yellow, yellow works. Yellow, blello, thank you for being a dick. All right, yellow wins. Yellow it is. He said yellow is all right. Thank you, everyone. So here we go. Gold skill rating. Uh, infamous ninjas. Uh, yeah. Oh, let's turn out the volume. And so he starts us off right in the middle of the match. Just pow, right into it. Now, since I was sick, I actually had time to write notes. Uh, I think everyone... Well, I don't want to say everyone. I think a lot of people will see some issues pretty quickly. Oh, there goes the quality. Oh, that's that's so much better. Check this out. Oh, this is my jam. There he goes. I like this. Clearing the high ground. Uh, I think controlling the high ground is an un underrated aspect of Lucio and what he can do. Uh, but yeah, definitely good job doing that. Just watch out. You know, you get your ass kicked. He goes for a very greedy boop, but doesn't die. And overall, he's slightly aggressive, which is cool. I, I don't mind that. Uh, I've always said aggression is, is not a bad thing. You just have to tailor it correctly. Nope. Oh, unless you get scattershotted. So just from there, you know, uh, not bad. Also, you get revived. It's fucking sweet. He's platinum. Sorry. This, he's platinum in a gold skill game. I don't know if you needed. Oh, well, you know what? I think you got you helped uh, Diva get that kill. I don't know if you meant that, but and now, so just right away, we're gonna be seeing this a lot. So it's cool that you boop this guy down, and it's funny because it gets him killed. But like at this point, I know you see like this looks looks so good for Lucio, right? You're like, oh my god, this is the dream. His back's towards me. He's moving forward, so he's going to get booped harder going forward. Let's get him. But you can't, you're like, your hand's blocking the enemy Reinhardt, and you don't realize that you're in the middle of, like, four people. And then you get trapped, which is kind of funny. I've got you in my sights. So this will be a common theme for you, Infamous. Uh, you do this a lot, where you throw yourself in a really shitty spot for a boop attempt. So here's just, you know, lines have been established. You gotta work your way out. Again, you attempt for the boop. 
Turn around, you see someone right on your ass, and you're like, you're lucky they didn't see you. Going to clear high ground, you get behind them, and this time you do get the boot. On the junk rat. Payback's a bitch, man. And now uh, you're swapping, you're swapping songs a lot, which is cool. Man, you were looking for the boop again. You're swapping songs a lot, but that's cool. As long as you do it based on the needs of your team. And we're going to see that it, you don't really base it on the needs of your team. See, there was that positioning again. Uh, your entire team was behind you. Uh, you were very aggressive. For little to no reason. Uh, even with your, you know, even with speed boost, it's it's difficult to get away from that shit. I mean, your team's doing really good. Good. That wasn't bad. But here you go again with that boop. I mean, you could have been healing yourself and your teammates, but you're really going for that, and it does cost you your life yet again. Boop greed. That is that is 100% true. Uh, pretty pink pansy. You are spot on with that. Uh, you, I will tell you that this boop greed happens even with grandmasters. You look, you, you actually, you were not shooting so you could boop, right? But you get saved at the last second by the bell. This is a review stream yet, right, right now, review. We're reviewing. You think I'm some platinum scrub? How dare you? How dare you? Oh, now to accelerate. Game on. Heal up. The stanky effect. Yes, yes, I will agree with you. So we already saw like two really, really big things. Actually, and they all revolve around booping. Uh, you're super greedy with it. Insanely greedy. Like it's the only thing you think about at times. Uh, it's like it's a bit tunnel visiony. Uh, because of this, you're out of position. You're usually very far out of position. You're evening. You're even sacrificing attacking so you can try to boop them, right? Instead of just doing dealing damage when you can. Uh, these are all kind of like tunnel vision, and you just looking for something very specific. And not that looking for it is bad, but it just really telegraphs your movements. Like on this. Like you get out there, but man, that was super fucking greedy. Uh, you jumped into the middle of their team. It, you, you made it out, but at a certain SR, they will be able to start hitting you. And here you are, there's a Widow, and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna get this Widow. I'm like, it's cool you're occupying this widow's uh, time, but you. I mean, I hope you can see the the difficulties you're having right now. Um, your team lost the point. You know, your team could have used probably some healing. I'm guessing they needed to because a couple of them died. And doing a speed boost like that when someone's weak is really good. And I think that's what Lucio's great at. When there's a couple people and they're about to get away at low health, uh, speed boosting to kill them. But from the looks of it right now, your your song choice is based on your own needs rather than anyone else's. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to suggest you lowering your sensitivity. I mean, right now you really haven't done anything accuracy-wise. Also, I don't cor uh, correct accuracy-based stuff. I think uh, it's not needed. 
it's to me it's like an olympic coach telling uh another sprinter just run faster than usain bolt if i just tell you oh just just shoot better than the other guy shoot this guy in the face here like it's just a really shit review it actually doesn't give you any critiquing so you uh you lucio uh, your ultimate i think you're the only one that gets hit by it uh it was just a reflex by zarya alt which is fine uh it's uh, at this level, I think that's acceptable. There's a really good chance in a normal game that, you know, you would your teammates would have got stuck in there. So it's not a terrible habit. It's not a bad thing. Yep, you could have gone for health package, but that's all that's... You're, you're, you're applying too specific of details to his play. The problem was is that he was busy with the Widow. Which can be good for a team occupying the sniper, but it was a little bit too much time spent there. But your team still comes through in the game, in the end. True, retired to 600 on the ground, 400 in the air. No, damage is calculated by center of tire to center of player. The center of the player is considered where their feet is at. So if you jump up, you're technically making the distance greater. I don't think the damage loss is 400, but it's it's loss. For some reason, center of model to Overwatch is in the feet. Also, it's in the feet in the middle of the model. So like a model like Roadhog, you actually have to get the tire into his fat. To actually dual deal 600 damage. Enemy contact. It's, a, it's a cute little backwards maneuver to get up there. Make you feel and I, speed boost, get into the middle of the point. That's always perfect. And so here, look, you can already tell he's looking for the boop, right? And it, get, it gets you killed. Uh, you're... Very aggressive, you're going for the environmental kills way too much. Uh, as soon as you get out of, or as soon as you get higher and higher SR, people are going to be able to shoot you uh, easier and easier. So you got to watch out for that. You're not as invulnerable as you think in the air. So just people on point need to get healed right about now. Sorry for the, the buffering. Hold on, let me pause it for a sec. While we're here, you're, you really don't notice your team's needs. You finally get it. You did it. Eva got the credit. That was disgusting, but you did it. And you get smacked off. So while we're waiting for you to respawn already, again, it's very aggressive. Uh, you're telegraphing the boop way too much. Yeah, you got it once, but the telegraph of it is... Uh, if a good player plays against you once, he's going to start seeing this, and he's going to start killing you. Because your, your, um, your motions will be very, very telegraphed. Oh, turn it up! So, you're not doing bad so far. People are mostly he healthy. And you definitely help with the damage more than most Lucios, right? And there's not much you can do. You open ground with Soldier Alt. If you had, if you were quick enough on the reflexes, maybe you could have speed boosted somewhere, but uh, I wouldn't count on it, right? Get you healed up. Here you are. Now you're with the team. Damn it. If anything, you want to be speed boosting here. You do. Perfect. You get right on point. You get a boop. Perfect. You know, that's the moment you've been waiting for. 
I would say that's a good Lucio alt. Uh, you. So I like Lucio. This is me personally. Whenever I play, I like Lucio alt as I'm taking damage. So it's usually when you engage right at the beginning of your logistics phase. And right there, here is another. Like, look, you could have shot her, but you wait for the boop. And more and more, I've been noticing that. Um, your aura is based on your need only. And I missed a point. Watch this. I just, I just want to get a point really quick. So at 1024. So here we are. This is the third round, guys. Right? Two to zero. Uh, it's at 8%. And as we start... Uh, either the soldier or the roadhog is out healing you. Uh, th essentially during the third round. So if you wanted more definitive proof that you probably should be healing more, uh, this would be it. And I'm not saying your number needs to be high or whatnot, or, or the metal means something, but it's definitely an indication that a Roadhog or a Soldier, I think the Roadhog is out healing you in this game. Uh, three, three rounds in. Here you are again, clearing the point. Doing good work. Always leave yourself a back door. And I like I mean this is all this is all good. N nothing here is bad. Timings I've arrived. But we're gonna see more aggressive play by you. Here you are just kinda like doing this. Uh, I believe three or four of your teammates have died to Winston. Or significantly, Winston has significantly contributed to their death. And, and the healing boost can really help against that. Uh, you kind of were positioning yourself for a boop again. Uh, you weren't looking at the needs of your team. Oh, right here. Now this is a little micro action I will critique. Uh, McCree alt with speed boost is good. And you, you healing beat him. Maybe that's a mistake on your part. Like maybe that was just like, you accidentally did that. But yeah, speed boosting, reapers, and uh, McCrees are good. I don't want to, I don't need the 1.5 or 2.5 the speed. You get a boop again. Okay, I, I think... It really feels like, I mean, you have good... Good stuff is going on during the fight. It's, uh, it's these... Aggressive boopage that's really holding you back. Right? It's, it's pulling you out of position, it's making your... Uh, movement very telegraphed. No one's really figured it out yet, just because of the skill level you're in, but uh, better players will capitalize on this. We boost every ult, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for Rip Tire, doesn't work, right? I guess we didn't have to sit through that. I was talking though. Also, it's good just to take things that, you know. And I think that's his video stuttering at YouTube. You know, it's good to take things at a slower pace. You know, maybe that is YouTube. Okay, you still got three people, four people, five. Okay, here. And here's another one of those super aggressive. 
Boop. A Winston offset jumps back on. Uh, that was just pure greed there. I'm reviewing. This is a review play. All right, good. You're you're bringing your team in. I think this is this is good, Lucio fundamentals. Always bring your team in. And here's where you make another. I don't want to call it a mistake, but you're very concerned about this Sombra. And we don't need you don't we don't need 1080p damage. But you start messing with the Sombra again. And there your Mercy died. Alright. He died to Winston. I know your Reinhardt was already at half health. And then you get smacked off the edge. Uh, again, uh, be with your team, support your team, and support the needs of the team. Now, if you do have to go off and like fight someone one-on-one, -on -one, you have to rate the needs of that above your team, right? So maybe going against that Sombra was, like, maybe if you killed her or maybe if putting pressure on her would screw up her plans more, maybe that would be more important than healing, but usually it's not. Uh, the same deal with that Widow uh, kill you did earlier, or the will the Widow not kill you did earlier. Uh, same thing, like, if a Sniper was putting that much pressure on your team, sometimes it, doing whatever you can to get her out of that perch is what you need. But uh, don't sacrifice your team for it. You get him this time? No. That Winston and his sneaky jetpack. So here you are again. Um, you're only a couple seconds late to the party, but... Man, that's the third time. Oh, you got him the third time. And you taunt him. Eh, yep. Taunt him again. Luckily, your Reaper kind of covers for your ass. But you got him, though. You did get him that time. Yeah, in the new patch, Lucio gets in cra crazy heals, but his radius is reduced significantly. So Lucio's going to have to skate around more and get to the people that need to be healed. So you, this play style that a lot of Lucios do right now of just like chilling on top of a pillar, just not being part of the team, uh, that's going to go away because your healing radius is going down to 10 meters from 30, uh, which is huge. There's a couple guys right in front of you. Uh, but yeah. Again, that's that's a bit of greedy movement. Or maybe you just... I don't know. Maybe you thought you were getting behind more of them and you didn't. And this aggression on Anna. I, this is that type of aggression I like. When you, when you start screwing with the healers, the problem is they have the rest of their team there. Lucio can 1v1 of Winston now? Uh, with the new patch, maybe. Or does his basic heal out-heal Winston's damage? Because that'd be... That's pretty nutty. Alright, this is definitely... YouTube that's stuttering right now. Fuck this HD stuff. We're on 480p, boys. We don't need to correct his ass in HD. Oh my god, maybe we do. That's right, it's almost over. It's almost over. So I like your decision making during this stuff. Like this chaotic movement, you actually have, I think, good decision making. You usually just keep on the heal. Uh, if you see someone out of position, you usually put on the speed boost so your team can jump on them. Uh, but you get it. It's funny... I just find it funny that when most people have the hard times uh, making decisions in chaos, you make the correct ones. And when everything's fine and dandy is when you make the, the poor decision. Reviewing like it's 2006. It's all right. It's over, guys. It's over. Just don't, don't worry about it. 
So my notes for you, like, first of all, a ton of selfish plays. I would say your aura was 90% of the time based on your needs alone. Uh, you weren't looking at your allies or your allies' position that much. Hold on, hold on, let's get out the, the triangle. Ba-ba! Let me get out my little note tab. We got yellow? All right. So yeah, a lot of selfish plays. Aura seems to be based on your needs only. Uh, your action, your mechanics... Oh man, that's hard, that's hard to see. We're going to have to go blue on this one. Your mechanics aren't bad. Like, your shooting, your accuracy seem fine. Uh, obviously, you know where to boot people. Uh, you, you definitely know that. That, that one's good. Your wall, your wall riding skills seem fine. Uh, you're climbing up corners very well. Uh, plays where there wasn't corners. What I'm thinking of specifically is the second round. Uh, you know, there's that bridge. People go this way to point. And then, like, you jump this way, you wall road backwards, and you got up there like that to the balcony. And I, I, like, I can see your, your movement skills are there. I think your mechanics are, are fine. And I think as long as you keep on playing, like, they're going to keep on getting better. I, I don't see anything wrong with your gross motor, motor movements. Uh, but positioning is where things start going downhill. Uh, your positioning was very aggressive. So is your logistics. Your decision-making, your position, very, very aggressive. Uh, very telegraphed. Uh, you were... I mean, you were watering at the mouth for those boop kills. You were, you were looking for environmental kills so much that you were causing yourself to die a lot. Uh, your position was way in front of your team. Quite, quite a bit in front of your team. Uh, and well... That's a terrible circle. That's, that's still a terrible circle. And well, I mean, you were up here, and the rest of your team was back here. Uh, very, just overly aggressive, because you were looking for this boop or this boop. Lucio by choice, but enters here usually by need. Uh, but yeah, this was... Let me fix this again. Chuck, Chuck Plus. He did well there. So your positioning... Yeah, greedy, poor positioning a lot of time. You telegraph writing, wanting boops too often. Even at times, you won't attack so you can boop. Uh, you dive far behind the established lines of combat. And what I mean by that is when there's a... Uh, Bastion. Sorry, Bastion. Usually there's a Reinhardt with a shield, and this kind of like... People will mill around the sides a little bit. You know, maybe over here. Maybe, maybe Red will be over here. But you are, like, here. Like, you're well, well beyond the established boundary lines. Into dangerous, dangerous territory. My undo only goes back five clicks. Which The obsession for boops makes his teammates healthy. Yeah, 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 this is all of it. We don't, we don't have to grill him enough for that. Or we have grilled him enough for that. Uh, like I said, his action's fine. Position logistics, super greedy. I think the, the thing is, is if you stop wanting boop kills so much, this all gets fixed. We're going to give you a check minus. Not even a check. I'll give you a check minus on that one. Uh, it, it's actually a very simple fix, right? It's such um, it's such a large and gross issue that we can easily fix it just by being like, eh, don't don't play so far out. Uh, you can play aggressive, but like, if these are the lines of combat, just don't go that far in. Like, eh, here maybe, here maybe, or behind, right behind the shield is probably a, a very good place for you to be. Uh, using speed boost on ultimates, on chasing down weak heroes, and when initiating. Those are like the three big things, Lucio. Uh, also, the new patch. This is what everyone has to worry about right now that plays Lucio. 
if you play this type of style, and I'm not saying this is a terrible style to play, I'm sure you can get pretty high with this, the new Lucio will destroy you. Uh, the healing range is from 30 meters to 10. Uh, that's, that's a massive scale. Uh, especially when you think Lucio likes to stay up. You know, a lot of the time, he, has, uh, he likes to have the height advantage in a corner, or just right in the wall or something. Uh, you're even farther away. And I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but we will use our Junkrat knowledge, which states that the center of the model is how they calculate distance in the feet. So I'm thinking if you're 10 meters above someone's model, they will not get healed by you. Because a person is, what, one or two meters tall? I don't know how tall people are in the game. But since you would have to affect them by hitting the center of their model in their feet, uh, it would actually reduce the distance. But that's only if the calculations of Aura is based like Junkrat's uh, tires mechanic. Which it could, it, it might be. We, I would have to look into that. So watching out for that, uh, your action is good, I said that, your position, poor, overly aggressive, sometimes for no reason, uh, you play as if no one can hit you, and at times you risk it all for a single boop, uh, your logistics or slash decision making, that's what we do here, you check minus on that one, uh, you know what you're doing? But you're picking very risky or very telegraph motions that a higher SR uh, enemy will exploit. So I feel like you're... I feel like you know what you should be doing and you still choose the wrong things, and that's why I'm writing it just poor. Uh, in your information, you hardly look at your own team to see what they are, where they are and what their needs are. So again, I'm going to just write that as a... As a uh, figure out where your team's at and what they need is the most important thing for any support. Uh, from there, just be a lot less aggressive, and I think adhering to the needs of your team will probably bring you back a tad bit from the aggression. Right? Instead of you being right here, I think just ne noticing what your team needs, you'll probably go back here a little bit. Uh, I think that will fix these other issues a little bit. Uh, but I don't think it'll fix your issue with wanting that environmental kill so deeply. You think it won't... No, the, I'll say the new patch will destroy him because this aggressive play as Lucio right now, if Lucio's here... Like, 30 meters is probably, like, way back here. So he can still help his team while still being aggressive. Uh, the new one, it's going to be, like, here. Uh, and this Lucio is not going to be able to help his teammates at all. So maybe it's better for Lucio people who are selfish and greedy. But to the point, to, to what end, right? You'll help your team nothing at all. Uh, even though right now you're helping out your team, but it's at a, dis it's at a distance you're probably only hitting partially of your team. But he wasn't on healing anyways, is my point. Okay, yeah, I guess he wasn't on healing a lot, right? We, we saw that point at three rounds in, he was still bronze healing. Which he just needs to fix. So yeah, that, that, that's my main critique to you. Uh, figure out the needs of your team, and I think that's going to pull you in a little bit. And then uh, I think just a mental note of uh, weigh risk versus reward. Um, and maybe even that's poor. Because if you do risk versus reward, uh, reward... Uh, maybe you see this reward of a boop kill super high. Like plus 50. And the risk is terrible. Like, plus 40. No one would ever take this risk. But you value the, the boop so much, right? God damn it. Uh... But yeah, definitely weigh the boop a lot less as a reward than what you, what you currently have in mind. Um, and I also wanted to tie in one overarching idea. Uh, so Infamous 
Do you have any other questions before I just like dive into this big idea first? I've yeah, none at all. I like these. No, I don't think so. So, what Infamous displays here is a broader topic, which is, uh, and I will say this afflicts almost everyone on the ladder, including including grandmasters. And it's the idea, and those that have been around before have heard before. Um, play versus the hero. Do not play versus the player. Now, eventually you can start taking on patterns how an enemy moves what they usually do how how they do things you know that a good player at a certain point will start taking notice of these patterns and start punishing you because of them but at the low levels what happens is is what and the uh, lucios are a big 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 issue with these guys is that since they play versus the player what happens is you start dancing more than you should you start wall riding more than you should and you're overly aggressive. And maybe people can't hit you at that rank, right? Because you're playing against the player and they can't hit you at that rank. But all of these ingrained habits that you're starting to get for like the past two or three seasons of just like, oh, I can, I can joke on some guy. I can dance around him, yada, yada, yada. Uh, as soon as you get higher and these guys can hit you, you start dying and you start dying a lot. And you're like, man, what's going on? My team must suck because like I'm doing the same thing I've always done, but better. And I keep dying. What's, what's going on? Like, my team needs to defend me more. And what you need to do is you need to play against what the hero is capable of. Uh, so, if you see me play against a good Widow, I usually don't show my face. Right? My face is usually in front of Widow as low amount of time as possible. I respect her. I respect the class, and it can shoot me and just kill me instantly. Uh... Same thing against McCree's. I'll probably stay out of his space where flashbang works. Uh, I'll try to keep on creating distance. If I do hit him, I'll push him back or something. Like I just, I try to respect for what the hero is capable of, I'll, and I'll like I'll not be in open ground as a junk rat. Uh, this hits everyone. Um, man. Because this starts getting into egos, and when you start talking about egos, you just think about the best. Like, Grandmaster and up, top 500. Those guys, whenever you see them get outplayed, and they're like, this is fucking bullshit. What they thought was... Oh, I'll just use myself as an example. They'll see a junk rat, and they'll be like, oh, I can kill a junk rat. Because I've only played against these junk rats, and they haven't done shit. And so they play against the, the players they're used to as junk rat. And then I kill them, and they're like, this is bullshit. Uh, you know... He's not that good. He, he got lucky, yada, yada, yada. What they need to do is play against, the whole time they should have been playing against the hero, right? So they're like, oh yeah, Junkrat can do 240 burst damage in less than, uh, you know, a half a second. That needs to be respected for what it is. Now that doesn't mean they have to fear me, but it does mean they probably want to stay at mid-range. Uh, stuff like that. Same thing with a Widow. Every, every class has, or every hero I should say, has their strengths and their weaknesses, and you need to fear the class. Like, a, a bit of fear is healthy. Because uh, it allows you to stay alive, and it allows you to learn the class better. Right? Uh, the, more, the more respect you give a class, the better you can play around everyone. That's not to say sometimes you are forced into an action where you do have to play against the player. You know, sometimes, sometimes this does happen. I'm not saying never do it, but for the low ranks, just for the love of God, don't do it. In fact, start picking up on other people's patterns, because at like lower than 3,500 or 4K, it, fuck. At any at level, if you start learning people's patterns, you'll be able to kill them easier. And it is kind of funny, but don't get used to that habit. Like, don't get used to calling everyone's bluff, because some people's going to be able to do mix-ups, and then you're fucked, right? If they can play two or three different ways, then as soon as you, they get you 
you know, baited on one way, they're going to kill you. That's at the higher level. That's, that's some advanced shit. Yeah, that McCree kept missing me. I can push him around. Like, that's really fucking... That's, that's dangerous thinking. Uh, but this afflicts... I think this is... I would rate this as the number one reason why people cannot climb the ladder some days. Or most days. Yeah, I mean, if someone's yeah, stuck at, like, three to 4,000... Or three, three to 3,500, I think this is where it probably hits the most. Uh, I think both, both points of the bell graph... I think the bell curve is something like this, you know, a lot better. And, like, there's a break in it at... 2,600 and 3,100. I think there's like a, a boop or something. And I think this is where people start encountering people that are better. And all the habits from here down stop working. Right? It's a crutch? Yes. Playing against the player at a lower level, uh, like you're trying to... Like if I got into like a... 20. 2800 game let's say i can probably double mind jump in front of a widow she will not hit me and i can get into her face and i can kill her um if you try this at 4k you're going to get shot you're going to get shot before that second mind probably has a chance to explode right the widow's either going to headshot you or the other hit scan class is going to put you down even if you do land they're probably going to be properly prepared for you to kill you uh so don't build these bad habits at the lower levels when someone is tilted, actually, this is what people do when they're tilted. Uh, they play against the player. They're just like, ah, fuck that guy. Like, that person, that being. I hate him. I'm going to kill him because I know he's not that good. And then even if he gets lucky, like, you get your ass kicked. It's kind of kind of funny. So, yeah, don't, don't do this. Uh, I believe this is a symptom of most Lucio's. Just because you guys dance so much around the wall and whatnot, uh, and you're like, you can't hit me. Uh, no, you, you, you can get shot. It's quite easy, actually. 